I wanted to show you guys all of my K-pop albums that I've been collecting. And in case you did not know, I only started collecting in June. The first two albums that I purchased, I bought them together, were um, BTS's Young Forever, the day and the night version. And that was the first purchase, which was shortly followed after by Flight Log Departure. And yeah. It all went down from there, and now I have a decently large collection considering that um, I've only been collecting for six months at this point. So yeah, six months in, and this is what I've got. I'm probably going to need to get some more shelves. But yeah, I will go through this. Um, if you guys would like, I can even do a photo card. Um, I can do like a photo card show like collection video if you'd like um let me know i am in the process of changing the way i keep my photo cards right now so that might take a couple weeks until i solidify that but i would gladly do that for you if you'd like but yeah i hope that you guys enjoy this video so we have what i like to call my k-pop wall but... So let's just go ahead and let's start with the top shelf. So the top shelf is what I like to call my BTS shelf. We've got Too Cool for School, Oh Are You Late Too, School Love Affair, which is the regular version, not the special version, Dark and Wild. I do have all the versions. So these are part one and part two. As you saw from the posters, I also have both versions of Young Forever. And then I also have all four versions, W, I, N, and G of Wings. And moving on to the DVDs and other things, I have Memories of 2014, Memories of 2015, and then obviously I have the Summer Package for 2016, which is um, Summer in Dubai. Um, and then I also have the season's greetings for 2017, which is so cute. I love this little locker and everything that comes with it. But yes, so that is what I like to call my BTS shelf with everything BTS that I have. And as you can see, I don't really have much room else. I mean, I can tear in the summer package, but that's going to be really awkward once I do because it's really long. Um, but yeah, once more stuff comes out, I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to rearrange everything BTS wise. So yeah, <laughs> moving on, we have my secondary shelf, which I'm considering turning into a GOT7 shelf and you will see why in a moment because like BTS, GOT7 is one of my top groups. Um, they are my co-bias group, in fact, and I have a lot of GOT7. So yeah, but let's start with what I have over here. So I have 2PM's Gentleman's Game. I have the regular edition, which is still absolutely gorgeous, by the way. A signed, all member signed copy of Astro Summer Vibes. Astro's Autumn Story. This is the orange version. I do have a red version that is on its way that is an all member signed one through M Wave. I just haven't gotten it yet. The AP is one shot. I have BAP Carnival. I got the special edition because it's big and beautiful. BAP's Put em Up. I also have two copies of BAP Noir and I absolutely love this album. Absolutely one of my favorite albums of the year. I listened to it way, way, way too many times, but I love it. And I had to get the special versions. I do also have an all member signed one that is coming and I cannot wait for that. I actually have two copies of Block B's Bass Stars. I'm thinking of giving away one um, because one of them, as you can see, is just a plain version, which I had gotten. And then I found out that they had, they were doing signed wave, signed ones with M Wave. So I have my signed version as well. Yay. I really, really love this album as well. It's, it's, it's amazing. Next, I have Big Bang. 
So this is the compilation CD that has all of um, the singles that they released in 2015. Um, the only thing is that what's different is that it has instrumentals only for two of the songs. Um, I forget which ones. So it has it for uh, Jetta and um, I forget the other song that it has it for. But um, yes, compilation. Block B is her. New Min. I'm really excited. I literally just, 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 just got that and it is beautiful and gorgeous and makes me really happy. <laughs> um, next up, I have EXO. Exodus. I ended up getting the Chin version. Um, I am not Chin biased. Um, I did get a Zhumin card, which at the time when I got this, I was Zhumin biased. Zhumin is still my bias wrecker, but I am completely 100% baking on trash. So there's that. Next up, and this is the reason why I am GOT7 trash, and I just need to have a GOT7 shelf. Okay, so here's my God 7 collection. I'm st I still do not have all of the albums, all the versions of everything, but I'm working on it. It's going to happen within the next couple of months. I will have everything, but um, right now, so I have Identify. I have the, um, the wide version because I liked it better than the close-up version. Um, I'll eventually get the close-up one, but my priority was to get this one. And I have Just Right, which is a gorgeous, 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 beautiful album. And also, I mean, so that was the vertical version. This is the horizontal version. Guys, I know directions. I swear. Um, I, I do also need to get the, um, the Christmas one, uh, but I don't have it yet. I will. I have the Serenity version. Where is this one? Yeah, this is the Serenity version. Um, I need to get Rose Quartz. But so those are my copies of Gun Seven because I'm trash. I'm a trash monkey, and I'm working on getting the others. They will come. And then, as you can see, I have a lot of turbulence, like a lot of turbulence. <laughs> Um, there's actually even two behind there that you can't see. The reason I have so many was because I initially purchased eight. I did manage to, because there are eight different versions, I did manage to get um, the different versions. I got seven of the eight versions. I didn't get a mark when I first bought all of them. Then they announced the meet and greet, which I ran a group order for, and I purchased an additional seven for myself so I could get one for each member. And so I do have signed copies. So like that's Jackson's signature. Um, but yeah, I do have all members with the signed version, which is the reason why I have so many copies. I could probably sell some of my um, unsigned versions, except for the group one, because the group one, they didn't, um, they didn't do that because they signed their own versions, but yeah. Then I also have my one and only Japanese version, which is got Seven's Hey Ya. And yeah, I don't, I don't collect Japanese versions, but I really wanted it because it has a DVD in there. And even though it doesn't have English subs, I still wanted it. So moving on, I have more albums and they are signed albums. And so I have History's Him. I have both the Heart and the Spade version and they are both signed. It's kind of hard to see. You can see it better on the um, heart version than you can on the spade because they signed in black. Um, but they are signed and it is all thanks to Sana Storia that I have these because she's lovely and she gifted them to me because she is absolutely amazing and adorable and wonderful. So the next album that I have is Infinite H, Fly Again. This is their second um, mini album, not the first one. I still need to get the first one, but um, I've listened to them both a lot and I prefer Fly Again, so I decided to get this one first. I also have the special edition, um, the limited edition of Infinite Only, which is their latest mini, and I adore, I adore Infinite, so I had to get the special one, and it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Next up, I have IOIs. What a man. This is an all member signed one. Um, it is only the this subunit that did the What a Man. So it's not like um, it doesn't have the other four members, but I really, really love this track, so I had to get it. 
So next I have Madtown Emotion, which is another all member signed. Um, I actually bought this off of Sana. After the fact, she ran a group order for this and she had some extras and I did want it because I do like Madtown. Um, and so I decided to get this and it is all member signed, so why not? As you guys know, I love Monster X, so I do have all of Monster X's albums. So I have, we have Trespass here. I have photo cards falling out. We have Rush, The Clan, part one. Um, I have the Lost version because I liked it better. <laughs> this one's the fun, this is where it gets fun. So I also have The Clan, part two, Guilty. I have um, the Guilty version, the Innocent version. And I also have a one hole sign version, which makes me extremely happy because I am one hole biased. So I'm very, very happy to have one hole. Um, I got this one through a group order as well, through Onionator. I'll leave a link down to her channel as well below. And she's awesome, so. New East Canvas, this is another one of the albums that I got through, um, that I ended up getting through my K-pop box. And it is so pretty. And I ran a group order for all members signed. Pentagon's first mini, and so it is all member sign, and it is lovely. I also received this through K-pop box, um, and this is Red Velvet's Russian Roulette. Also have Seventeen's Love and Letter Repack. This I actually had to buy a second time because along with Dark and Wild, I never received it the first time, so yeah, I finally received it, and that made me happy. I have Shinies, Married to the Music. I really, really, really love Shiny. They're just, their music is just always love for me. So, yeah. Shinies, one of one. I still need to get one and one. It's something that I will be getting soon, just just not yet, but ugh, I can't wait. I love, I love Shiny. Okay, nearing the end. So, I have Vix chained up. I have the control version <laughs> because I have a problem. I also have Vix Zellos. Here's when I start to get trashy again because I have six copies of Vix Hades and that is because I do have it signed by all the members. So I ran a group order for for Hades um, and I ended up getting all of the members except for Ken so I had to buy Ken's. And for Kratos I ran another group order so I have those signed. I have five of these because uh, one of them, again, I didn't get Hongbin's signature, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go try to buy a Hongbin signed one soon, probably within the next month or two, um, so that I can have that full set. And I have Uptension, an all member signed Uptension Summer Go. This isn't the best album, but I like Uptension and they're cute and I wanted to get it because I wanted to support Uptension so I can keep seeing Uptension because they're lovely. And then finally, I have Winner Exit E. I have the Dokes Batch version because it's so pretty. And those are all of my K-pop albums. I know, it's, it's, it's madness. It's not that a whole lot to some people, but considering that I've only been collecting for six months, I feel like I've made some pretty good progress.